Hello and welcome to another House of Wisdom Knife video and today we're going to be reviewing the Terzola Compact Tactical Folder. It's designed by Bob Terzola and uh, produced by Mastrop. It's manufactured by an OEM party and this is just a great knife. Bob Terzol is interesting. He invented the first tactical folder. After graduating from New York University, he worked for the Peace Corps, and later he managed a jade jewelry store in Antigua, Guatemala. Antigua, Guatemala is where the Mayan Empire used to be. As you can tell, his maker mark has looks like a, a Mayan hieroglyph. I'll give some examples of Mayan, hieroglyph, Mayan hieroglyphs in the upper right corner here. Antigua Guatemala is an interesting place. It's a, 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 a central area for the jade industry. They find it there. I don't say that they mine it, but they find it. It rises to the surface and they go around and find it on the surface and you can hit a rock with a hammer and jade, if you hit it with a hammer, it'll just bounce off of it like it was a rubber mallet. It's very hard, whereas a, a normal rock will break in two or, or deform in some way, but jade won't. Jade will just bounce that hammer right back at you. And that's where they also have a lot of language schools in Antigua, Guatemala. I know my kids, I insist that all my kids be bilingual. And I took them and got them uh, bilingual with a Spanish teacher from Antigua. And uh, they came over and tortured my kids four hours a day, five days a week, and made them speak Spanish for about a half year. And they came out pretty bilingual. So it's a good thing to do if you ever get a career break and want to get bilingual or want your family to be bilingual. That's a good place to go. Well, Bob Terzola, not only did he invent the tactical folder, Bob also designed the first production knife for Benchmade. And he collaborated with Spyderco to make the C15 in 1989, which was the first liner lock knife produced by a commercial factory. The Advanced Technology Combat Folder is a format for the CTF that we're reviewing today. The ATCF was a larger knife having a blade length of about 4 inches and a total length of around 9 inches. We'll talk about the compact tactical folder. Its blade length is 3.2 inches. It has a handle length of 4.4 inches and a total knife length of 7.6 inches. The weight of the knife is 3.1 ounces. I have some knives for comparison. First is the Riot Wave. It's a similarly sized knife. And the Curtis Medium F3. And lastly, the Guardian Tactical Helix Nano is a similarly sized knife. The blade of the knife is a drop point blade made of S35VN. It has a saber grind and a fuller on top, and then the top spine is chamfered. The method of deployment of the knife is either by flipper, and the flipper is interesting in that when it's deployed, the flipper tab is almost completely hidden. And this is reminiscent of a knife I recently reviewed, which is the Booze Blades Hound. And when you deploy it, the flipper is completely hidden. This flipper is almost completely hidden. There may be a millimeter or two showing, but it's certainly out of the way. So I like that design aesthetic. The other way to deploy it is with a thumb disc, which is a unique manner of deployment that I like. It's also employed on the TRE made by Lion Steel. It has both a flipper and a thumb disc. There we go. Deploy it that way. Well, the advantage of the thumb disc is that it is a uh, ambidextrous method. You can either use it with your right thumb or your left thumb. Not all uh, methods of deployment are ambidextrous. For example, a thumb stud, for example, like the Chris Reeves small Sabenza here, Chris Reeves puts it on the right side, but not always on the left. So if you're right-handed, that's great. But with a thumb disc, it comes on both sides. So either a left-hander or a right-hander can deploy this with the uh, thumb disc. The handle on this one is made of G10. It comes in green, tan, and black. You can also get it in carbon fiber for $25 more. The construction of the knife has a partial halfway back spacer that has hidden hardware. The pivots uh, run on bearings, and the pivot, clip, and liners are all bronze anodized. Looks very nice. 
The lock on the knife is a captive liner lock. You have a cutout so that you can release it easily and the handle scale doesn't let it over travel. The pocket clip on the knife is a 3D sculpted clip with hidden hardware and personally I feel this is one of the most handsome clips on any knife. Isn't that a gorgeous clip? The ergonomics of the knife are good. It's a straight handle. There are no hot spots. And the action on the knife is good whether you deploy it with the flipper or with the thumb stud. They work equally as well. The signage on the knife on the show side is their Terzola Maker Mark and oftentimes the Terzola has his name on it. Um, on this one he didn't and that was a little bit of an error uh, because they gave us a refund because everyone wanted the Terzola name there and then it has the steel designation which is S35VN. And then on the clip side it has mass drop even though they neither manufactured it nor designed it. They put their name on there and it has V137, which who knows what that is, probably a serial number of the knife. The value of the knife is good. It goes for $140 for the G10, and then the carbon fiber is $25 more at $165. So what are my impressions about the Terzola Compact Tactical Folder Knife? I really like it. Are there opportunities for improvement? Well, one of the things that I've previously mentioned is they forgot to write the Terzola name under the the maker's mark his uh, dragon's head there or his whatever Mayan symbol there. And I think it would have been better with the Trizola name so that you can identify it. But what I like about it, it's a great value. You can get a Trizola design executed well for a fraction of the cost of an actual Trizola knife, which usually runs over $1,200 and up to $5,000. And I like the color palette. The OD green with the bronze pivot, clip, hardware, thumb disc, I think it's a good combination. And I like the thumb disc. Few knives have a thumb disc. It's very rare, but very cool. And the pocket clip, I think this is one of the most handsome sculpted 3D pocket clips in the industry. So in summary, the Mass Drop Terzola Compact Tactical Folder is a great knife. You can get a Terzola design for a reasonable price. It's a smaller iteration of the original ATCF. This knife would be great for the guy that wants a Terzola design but doesn't want to pay over $1,000 for it. Well, that's the video for today. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next House of Wisdom knife review video.